Hello everyone, it is me, Elizabeth Sines, aka Fairy Woman, on our final day, day 43, for the Fairy Sky to be human, magical companion. It's day 30, with the back of the book. There's a few more pages that are coloring pages in the back. I love that one. Anyways. The Fairy Message for Day 30. Magic lives in every cell of your being. You breathe it in with every breath. You look outside yourself for validation, answers, and solutions. Your reality is a mirror. It can bring you clarity. It can help you see things from another perspective, but it, but it is only reflecting you back to you. It is your perceptions, beliefs, judgments, fears, compassion, and love that you see. There is no one that knows you better than your own higher self. It is not a fractured part of yourself that you have to work at to access. It is operating every moment of every day as you. This knowing makes your choices, takes action, or tells you to just stop. Even this that you are reading or watching right now was created by you. You brought this into your reality to shift your perception of yourself. You are not a small boat upon an ocean being tossed around from event to event. You are the ocean experiencing the boat. Stop trying to limit yourself to the boat. Stop trying to cram all of your magnificence into a tiny object as if you are nothing more. You are here to, we are here to celebrate you, the magical being that you are. You can choose to be the boat, but we encourage you to expand your consciousness to the ocean. What is stopping you? The fairies. I love that. You can choose to be the boat, but you can expand your consciousness to the ocean. Um, I feel like, especially with everything going on, there is that reminder of being a part of this bigger energy of the one, as the fairies call it. And we have this reality we're experiencing and focused on and making choices about. But it's important to take the time to pull away and also experience the connection of the one that we are all one. That everyone that you like and everyone that you hate are all still a part of the one that you are a part of. So in the hating, we're hating ourselves, and in the loving, we're loving ourselves. And it's important to find that place to reflect on what's being reflected to us from our, our reality. I think it's important to take those times to pull back because we can get so focused on the rioting or so focused on COVID or so focused on politicians or so focused on, uh, you know, pick a thing um, that we forget to pull back and put our focus on the greater experience because that's where it makes everything else feel not as important. Not that things like it's there are things that are important for you to focus on. But in the scheme of things, are they really that important? It's kind of that experience of, yes, I'm going to focus. I'm choosing to focus on this, and it has importance for me in my life. But I also need to be able to pull back and know that all of it is divine. All of it is playing out the way it's supposed to be played out. And I can cause ripples, and I can choose my experience of it. But... It's all working out how it's going to work out with me or without me. The world moves on with me or without me. I am a part of that larger whole. And I think that's always an important place to kind of get yourself right-sized. You know, we are God, but we're also not God. <laughs> Love the paradox. All right. Action step. The world would be flat and unproductive with no waves. The experiences you have can be labeled as opportunities or challenges. They, they are just experiences. Instead of figuring out what caused every wave, ask, where is this wave taking me? 
Surfers know there is a perfect moment to catch a wave and ride it to an, another spot of the ocean or into shore. Look at the waves in your life. What are the opportunities? Where is the wave taking you? Sometimes it's just to have, sometimes you just have to ride it out and see. Um, I think in the new age community, especially we get so focused on like, why am I choosing this? How did I cause this to happen? Where is the energy that's behind this? And I'm not saying that that shouldn't be looked at. I think that people get so focused in on that. It becomes another way of, I need to fix myself or trying to gain some control over your life instead of also taking the step back of where is this taking me? Sometimes that answers it better than looking, trying to figure out, dig into where did it come from? Because where it's taking you, it's going to be the solution to that issue no matter what. It's taking you to the next step, the next evolution of that that, that issue. Um, and sometimes it's almost like you go forward to work backwards, if that makes sense. But I, I do believe that there are so many there have been so many things that I personally have been led to do. And I would say, I've said to people, I, I don't know. This video series is one of them. I would say, I don't know why I'm supposed to do this. I'm just supposed to do it and put it out there. Um, and I've done that lots of times. And some of them, I'm still not even 100% sure why, but I do know I can now look back and see how it led to other things. Um, so there are times when we feel really guided, when we really just know in our gut, this is something that needs, I need to do. And you may not know why, and you may not understand, or may not feel like there's really going to be anything from it. I would say still do it. Ride the wave out. Ride it to shore. See where it's going to take you. Because you, you never know. I mean, that's how miracles happen is when we let go and let the universe carry us somewhere new. We can't have a new experience until we let the universe carry us someone, somewhere new. So, sadly, I won't be seeing you tomorrow. This is the last in the video series. But uh, I already have some plans I'm working on for both Summer Solstice and uh, another video series. Uh, and if you want to be notified of those, you can subscribe below here, turn on notifications. Um, or you can go to my website, thefairywoman.com, which should have be linked in the description. Scroll down to the bottom of the page, and there's an email sign up there. And I promise you, I don't send out very many emails at all. Um, just notifications of when I'm going to put up a blog, when I put up a blog or a video. Um, I have truly enjoyed doing this experience, though. I'm not going to do it every day next time, I'll tell you that for sure. But uh, I've learned a lot, and I am—I have a lot of fun tools and tricks and things for the next series that I'm very excited about. And it's been a real pleasure connecting with people and getting feedback and um, just genuinely feeling like I could could give you something during this time of lockdown and COVID, of this time of the riots and all the craziness happening. Um, I hope I gave you a place where you could find peace and get a little perspective. Um, I think it's fine to go back and we can keep watching these also. Maybe there'll be times that you want to hear something again. I would use it because I turn everything into a tarot deck. I would use it like a like an oracle deck and just randomly pick one that I think I need to to listen to and see if it has the message for me. So that's always fun too. Um, you ride the keep riding your wave to see where it takes you, and I will see you again soon. Have a magical day.